who might have a chance to beat back these flames ba back thanks to your work in the Inferno. Still more wildlife is threatened. Keeper Talrados Tal Taldros ran north through the flames to Whistling Grove. See if you can help him. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know if there's a repair person in this grove. Uh, nay. Now, I saw another quest down here on my mini map. I know. Did y'all see it too? Oh. Keeper Taldros, the forest is being devoured by yeah. flames. Uh, do not fear the bears in this grove, Hunter. I have pacified them for the moment. My concern at present is for the welfare of the bear cubs. The fires drove the little ones up the trees where they've gotten stuck. We've got to get those bears safely to the ground. Flying creatures frighten them, so you'll have to climb the trees yourself. Look for footholds in the trunks. Aw, this is a really cute little quest. I remember this one. Um, yeah, here we go. Oh, no, wait, that's not the way to do it. Chuck a bear. <laughs> Cute. Oh, I was supposed to aim that. Uh, whoops. <laughs> um, well, I'm sure that other one is okay. I promise. <laughs> I don't see how that is in any way safe. Just call me Smokey the Drana. I'm pretty spry for uh, somebody with no toes. <laughs> ah, thank you, Goblin. Those little bears are shaken up, but they'll survive. At least the ones that hit the mat. Oh, dude, really? You didn't tell me I had to aim. Goblin... These fiends from the Twilight's Hammer are attempting to, scur sc attempting to scourge this whole mountain clean of all life. Even now, they trail behind this inferno, leaving death and ash in their wake. Argdrud Hamulruntotum is behind the fires, trying to salvage the wilderness before it's blotted permanently from the map. Travel southeast through the inferno and down the road beyond. Find and aid the Argdruid.
Smashing through the ashes. Yep, okay. Just wanted to make sure I was on the right one. So I'm not going to queue up for another one. I think I've only got about... Uh, yeah, I've got like 14 minutes left on this uh, this hour-long um, section. So, Ooh, salamanders. Oh, I forgot to resummon. Can I skin? Can I skin? Yay! <clears throat> I will probably take um, take a little bit of a break and uh, do some skinning in uh, in an instance. Um, there is a, a semi-fast way to farm uh, out our uh, North Rend leather. Um, I don't know if I can do it yet or not. It's uh, you go into um, Gundrak, the uh, the instance with the um, uh, four bosses that you have to kill to lower the um, um, the bridge, or kill three to get the bridge to the fourth guy. But you can kill those snakes. There's like several groups of three, and uh, and basically, you kill all of those, go out, reset the instance, and go back in. Uh, and you can get quite a few because they all drop, uh, you know, like stacks of uh, um, the North Rend leather. So, but I, I'm not for sure if I'm uh, high enough level to do that. Um, and you can do it in uh, normal; you don't have to do it in heroic or anything like that. So that's that's kind of handy. But at least we're getting skill ups on our skinning now. So, <clears throat> but yeah, I've got a. I can't remember what level uh, leatherworking starts in um, um, Cataclysm. Um, I guess like maybe four twenty-five ish. Uh, so I've got. Uh, I'll have to get quite a bit, quite a bit of leather. That is uh, unfortunately part of uh, part of the game and part of uh, you know if you're gonna do a whoa a uh, crafting your strength with wisdom. Uh, very good. The Twilight's hammer must have must be s sent the message that we will never give up. This land has been scours scourged by fire. I don't know why I have trouble pronouncing that, but it may yet renew itself. Some seeds deep in the soil may have withstood the scorching heat here in the flame wake. These durable plants are the key to the forestry regrowth. Fresh bait. I was stunned to discover that Twilight's hammer had located and imprisoned the great turtle, ancient Tortola. As we speak, he is chained above the murky waters of the Ashen Lake. Freeing Tortola from his bonds will not be easy, but we will take it one step at a time. Head to, into the flame wake and collect for me heaps of core hound entrails. I will explain why later. Ooh, maybe we can uh, train us a yes, core hound. Sir. Tell me about Tortola. Ah, Tortola. Often misunderstood and always, always underestimated. Creatures who move effortlessly between land and sea look to Tortola as their patron ancient. 10,000 years ago, the Burning Legion invaded Azeroth, and Tortola was among the ancients who took to the field of battle alongside Cenarius and the mortal races. As the demon hordes crashed against the front lines of the beleaguered defenders, they didn't know what to make of Tortola. At first, they tried to ignore him, but his terrible weight and crushing jaws laid waste to hundreds. Then what happened? Uh, to Tortola... Tortola never fell. Eventually, the greatest doom guards of the Legion surrounded him, but couldn't pierce his stony skin and invulnerable shell. Oh, how they raged. 
Tortola held his ground and covered a final retreat before the mortal races regrouped and managed to seal the portal and end the invasion. It was said that after the battle, Tortola was found underneath a mountain of demon corpses. He shook the bodies free and his head emerged from the gore, then quietly, slowly, he asked if we had won. Hamul rests a hand on his stomach and bellows a deep, unselfconscious laugh. Yeah. Hamal Rune Totem, or Hamul Rune Totem, uh, you meet him a lot if you're a Tauren. He's, uh, uh, man, I want that outfit for uh, one of my shamans. Holy cow. Where's that? I bet that's a druid. Yeah, it's a druid outfit. Oh, well. Mm-hmm. I'll never get that. I don't like druids. Uh, I tried playing one once and just never got into it. In their efforts to decimate Hajal, Twilight's Hammer has elementals scouring the earth in the wake of the fire. They're pulverizing the soil, rooting around in the ash, digging up any scrap of plant life that survived and destroying it. It's like they're paving the way for I don't even want to imagine. Stop them before Hajal is devoid of life. Kill the lava searchers. Okay. Rain Feather Song. I know her. Uh, let's see how much that... Oh, gosh, six gold. Dude, we're on a budget. Uh, oh, I forgot to equip that. Uh, yep, yeah, there we go. I need to put that in the bank. Yeah, I, I'd uh, gotten some stuff out of the auction house. I, I don't know if I've got more in there or not. Yeah, yeah. Uh, How much time do I have? Okay, good. I'm actually start. I'm actually uh, enjoying this uh, uh, longer recording time. It's. Uh, I don't feel quite so pressured to uh, get so much stuff in in such a short time. Yeah, you can kind of tell I'm a little um, hyper, I guess. <laughs> uh, just I had gotten in from work before I started this, and uh, um, had um, had kind of a rough night. Um, I, I uh, just just not a good night. Yeah, yeah we're gonna get us a core hound. All right. I will see you later, Pig Iron. Now, if you're going to tame a... Um, oh, now they're all walking away from me. Okay. If you're going to tame a uh, an elite, uh, like a rare spawn or something like that, I'll show you what you, what you really need to do. You want to throw a... No. Yeah, a freezing trap. Throw a freezing trap in front of you. Oh, creature not tameable. Aww. Oh, wow. <clears throat> I think if you're Beastmaster, you can tame those. Like, it's an exotic pet. may not be able to tame them, but I can skin them. Yeah, 
Yeah, um, like as I was talking about um, when I first started, uh, I guess it'll probably be several episodes ago. I've got four that I tried to time and then um, these, so, um, but the uh, X-Split recorder, um, I've, I got it, uh, I was just going to give it a, like a trial run. Uh, but honestly, I, I really, I enjoy it. It's, uh... I mean, it's uh, very easy to set up. I mean, even, but even Fraps is really easy. Um, seriously? Oh, there's two of them. And like I said, my, uh, most of my recording issues are uh, uh, human human to keyboard interface errors, I, I guess. In other words, I, I'm really inept. Um, I actually used to be really um, like a big tech head, um, build my own computers, do some light programming, stuff like that, but... Um, uh, when I went to nursing school, uh, back when I was in my 20s, because, um, I mean, at the time, I mean, I live in kind of a rural area, and uh, there's just not a lot of tech-related jobs to be had, um, unless you work for, like, a phone company or something like that now, uh, but at the time, there, there wasn't anything, um, uh, especially not, like, programming or... Uh, I mean, computers were not very popular at the time, which, you know, in hindsight, it's like, how is that possible? Uh, but I mean, you know, 20 years ago, uh, I'm really actually, I mean, that like 20, 25 years ago, I would have been like 15. Um, if you were into computers at all, uh, you were ostracized. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I was one of those guys. Um, I mean, most of my uh, computer classes consisted of uh, learning. It was like typing, like you could learn how to type, you know, keyboarding. And um, but I mean, we actually had a a typing class, like a whole semester of learning to type. Um, not keyboard, on a typewriter. You know, the things that uh, click and uh, make marks on paper and, uh, yeah. Uh, we had a computer lab um, that, uh, I don't even know if there was enough computers for all of the, uh, the class. Um, and they were... I think they were, uh, they weren't PCs, um, but they were all on a very rudimentary network system. So each, um, station, um, like we had a keyboard and a monitor, um, and we could send messages back and forth to each other, which was the height of, um, um, technology at the time. <clears throat> so, yeah, fun stuff. Um, so my alarm just went off for 59 minutes, so we have been recording for an hour. Um, so I'm going to do my usual end of video spiel. Uh, this has been Foolish Mortal. Um, I hope you guys have uh, really enjoyed these videos. Uh, and uh, I hope you, you guys uh, continue to enjoy my content and... Uh, uh, hit subscribe and like some videos, make some comments, and uh, yeah, um, hopefully next time I'll have something a little bit more uh, um, interesting to talk about maybe, and uh, we'll get these turned in, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I hope everybody has a, a great day.